name access control list. Hello, if you have watched my previous video, uh, in that I talked about number access control list. And I told you about the uh, problem that we have with number access control list. The big problem with this type of access control list is that there is no editing facility inside that is inside these uh, ACLs. Meaning, if you type something wrongly, you have to drop the whole access list. So you cannot go inside the access list and edit something and remove a rule or add, a, add another rule. You have to drop the whole access list and recreate the access list again. That is a big hassle with a uh, name with no uh, number access control list. Now to solve this problem, I told you you can use some kind of editing software and write everything in that and then copy and paste it in your router. But still, there is a better solution for that using name access control list. By using name access control list, you give a name to your access list and inside that list, you will create all your rules. Here, you have uh, the ability to remove one, uh, one line, one rule, and add another rule and edit and whatever you want to do. Another thing that we have here, and I'm going to talk about it, is the sequence number. So although we had a sequence number in uh, number access control list and I didn't talk about it, but here I'm going to show you how the sequence number is useful and how you can use it to add a rule before another rule in your ACL. So again, I'm going to use the same topology, the one that I used in previous video, and uh, we're going to configure the access control list on router 2. So I bring in router 2's command line. To configure the number uh, name access control list, you have to go to global configurations. Now here, instead of typing access list, you have to type IP access list. Then you have to choose what type of access list you want to use, standard or extended. For our purpose, we are using standard. And then after that, they ask you to give a name to the list. For example, here I'm going to type packet filter. I just give this name to my access list. Now, the moment you uh, press enter, the command prompt changes. Now you are in config standard access, uh, standard access list, uh, sorry, config standard name access control list. So here you are inside this packet filter list. Now you can create your rules. For example, you start with permit 192.168.1. Uh, just want to type something wrong. Five. And instead of typing permit host this host, I can type 0.0.0.0. Now by wildcard mask, I'm telling to my router that first part, second octet, third octet, and fourth octet all are important to me. And then after that, we type deny 192.168.1.0.0.0.0.255, meaning I am blocking the whole subnet. Now, suddenly here I see that, oh, I typed this one wrongly. This is not the address of PC1. This is the address of PC, uh, for example, 5. So I'm going to make it PC1. Here, it's very easy. You can you have this ability to type no permit 192.168.1.5.0.0.0.255. Now if I press enter, it will remove this line. Another thing that we have here, and I can use it, is sequence number. To see the sequence number, I have to take you to privilege mode now by typing do I can do that. And I type show access uh, list. You see that here? This is your access list packet filter. And inside that, you have 10 permit 192.168.1.5. This is the sequence number that has been used for each rule, each line that you have. Look, line 10 has this address, line 20 has this address. If I had more rules, uh, sorry, it, this rule, not address, this rule. If I had another line, it would be line 30, line 40, line 50, and so on. Now, I can use this line, this sequence number, to remove this line. For example, I can type here no 10. 
to press enter. Now when I type node 10, it means I don't want the line with the sequence number of 10. So let's look at our access list again. You see that here? Packet filter and the first line is gone. Now if I want to add uh, the first line again and edit it and put it here, I can start by typing the sequence number. Look, when I put question mark, I can write the sequence number here. So I type 10 and I want to type permit 192.168.1.255 sorry, the wildcard mask is 0.0.0.0 all bits are important. So when I type this if I look at the access list again, you see that here? Now the that line 10 has been added here. If I want to add another line, for example, I want to add, uh, I want to allow another PC to get access to that server. Now here I can type 5 permit, for example, 192, uh, instead of wildcard uh, mask, I can, if I'm talking about just one specific IP address, I can type host. So permit host 192.168.1. For example, uh, three as well. So let's look at the access list. You see that here. Now five has been added on top. Now access list five permit this PC as well. Now the rest of the configuration is exactly as the same as uh, the same as uh, standard access, the number access list, meaning. Now you have to apply this to an interface. So which interface? If you come here, the packet comes from this network all the way goes and goes out of this interface to this network, to this server. So I have to apply this access list to this network, to this uh, interface. So go back to router 2. We go to uh, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and the same command here IP access group now I have to give let's see that I have to give the name of the access list remember in previous configuration you were giving the number now I have to give the name so we copy put it here the packet is going in or out obviously the packet is coming all the way from here in, um, if I'm sitting inside this router, I see that the packet from here goes out of this interface. So I type packet goes out. Now, if I go back to PC1, uh, I will see that PC1 is able to ping uh, PC1 is able to ping the same server and uh, for example PC3 is not able to do so. Now this time I added another IP address I think that was the address of PC2 so PC2 should be able to ping uh, yes you see I added the address of PC2 to my access list so PC2 is able again to ping that um, server so that's how we configure name access list I hope uh, you enjoyed this video this time and uh, thank you for watching.